hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will talk about structural directives in angular so structure directives are used to manipulate and change the structure of the dom elements so there are three common uh, built-in structure directives uh, which are the ng if directive ng switch and ng for directive so for now we will talk about ng if directive so ng if directive is used to add or remove html elements according to the expressions the expression must be uh, must return a boolean value it will be either true or false so let's do an example of on ng if directive so we will create a h2 tag so in here we will type uh, or add a asterisk and then we will type ng if and uh, it will be either true or false so for now let's make it true and if we check our browser coding cafe is showing right here and now if we change the value to false and we check our browser the coding cafe is now disappear so when it equals to true as you can see right here coding cafe is showing as you can see right here in the h2 tag and when this is equals to false and now the coding cafe disappears and now if we check our code the coding cafe is now disappeared and also as you can see the element panel uh, also cannot identify the h2 tag as you can see right here so this is a basic example of uh, ng if directive so now let's assign a property value to this ng if directive so for that we will uh, create a new property which is condition and it will be either true or false and now if we copy this property name and paste it right here and now if we check our browser as you can see coding cafe is now showing and if uh, now if we change this to false and when the browser refresh as you can see coding cafe is now disappeared so in this way you can use uh, property inside a ng directive so let's do another example so for that the first h2 tag will be the same but we will change the text to condition is true and then we will just copy this and paste it down below and change this to false and also add this symbol so this means if the condition is not true then it will show this text and the condition if the condition is true then it will show this text condition is true and if you check our property for now the condition is equals to false and if you check our browser as you can see right here the condition is false and now if we change this to true and when the browser refreshes as you can see right here it shows condition is true so guys the ng directive is uh, similar to any other language uh, if else condition it is similar to that if the condition is true then uh, a similar operation will be done and if it is and if the condition is uh, false then the another operation will work so now a common thing to have with an an if block is an else bl else block so let's do an example uh, with a else block so for that what we will do we will open up our div and then uh, ng if will be equals to condition uh, condition and then semicolon and then we will type else and then else block and then right here we will type condition is true and now let's uh, create a, a ng template for the else block so we will type ng hyphen and then we will uh, type the name of it uh, which is else block so we will type else block and 
then we will type condition is false so how this will work uh, it will first uh, check if the condition is uh, true true then it will show this text which is condition is true and we added this else else directive so if the condition is uh, not true then it will show the else block directive which is this one its name is else block okay so if it is not true then it will show this code condition is false so if the condition is true it will show this and if it is false then it will show this so if you check our browser as you can see right here condition is true as you can see right here condition is for now it is equals to true and now if we change it to false and when the browser refreshes as you can see right here condition is false so this else condition is uh, followed by a ng template reference uh, which which is a else block so that's why we type else block right here so let me just uh, tell you this again uh, how this will work if the ng if if the condition is true then the element to which the ng if directive is attached well rendered so it is uh, attached to condition is true so if it is true then this text will rendered and if it, and if the condition is false then angular check if there is a else statement in the code so as you can see right here there is a else statement in the code so then so after the else statement it will render this uh, else block template which we created right here and template else block so these two are connected so after the else statement it will render this code so as you can see right here the condition is false so it rendered this code and if the condition is true then it will render this code which is condition is true as you can see right here so guys if you notice the directive uh, is in align with the HTML block that need needs to be conditionally rendered but with the alternate syntax you can have the directive in a separate tag so let me show you an example on how we will uh, make the directive in a separate tag so we will let just remove this code and now I will create uh, the if block and the else block that has to be rendered and now again we have the ng template and this time it is uh, then block and inside here it uh, says condition is true and after this we will create another ng template and this time it will be equals to else block and text inside it will be condition is false so now at the top right here now we will add a diff tag and then uh, we will type ng if and it will be equals to condition which is our property on this page condition which is now equals to true and after the condition we will add a semicolon and then we will type then and then we will uh, pass the then block template and after then then block will type else and then we will uh, pass the else block template so now what this code will do uh, it will first check if the condition is true okay then it will render the then block template which is this one condition is true and then it will uh, check for the else statement and if there is a, a else statement then it will render the else block template so this means if the condition is true then the then block will be rendered and if it is false then the else block will be rendered so for now as you can see right here the condition is equals to true and if we check our browser as you can see right here condition is true and if we change this to false 
and when the browser refreshes as you can see right here condition is false okay guys this is it for the ng if directive and i hope you will understand how the ng if directive works and subscribe our channel code in cafe and press the bell icon